Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover how we can set the attribute in the session scope in one servlet and how we can get the same value from the session scope in another servlet. Okay, attribute is nothing but an object. And if you want to set uh, attribute in session scope, then we have to use uh, set attribute method of uh, HTTP session interface. Okay, and to get the attribute, we have to use uh, get attribute method of uh, HTTP session interface. Okay. Uh, suppose uh, if I want to set uh, attribute in the session scope, then I have to use uh, set attribute method, right? So if you see set attribute method, it has uh, two parameter. The first one is uh, name, and uh, next one is uh, value. Okay. So it's like a key value pair. Okay. Suppose say I want to set uh, username as uh, ram in the attribute and then what i have to do is i have to call this uh, set attribute method of uh, session object uh, the name i have to pass username okay and value i have to pass uh, ram okay uh, so like that i want to set uh, some role in the session scope means uh, i have to call uh, uh, session object dot uh, set attribute and the name will be the role and uh, value will be the admin okay so uh, it will uh, uh, store uh, this uh, attribute as a key value pair in the session scope. So it will look like this. Okay. Uh, suppose I want to get this attribute uh, uh, value with the another servlet. Then what I have to do is I have to use uh, uh, get attribute method. Okay. So here I have to pass the name. So name is nothing but a key. Okay. Uh, so in this case, if I pass uh, username here then i will get the value as uh, rom okay so it will return the object so the rom is a string right so i can type cast to string and i can get the uh, value as uh, rom okay suppose i want to get uh, what is the role then uh, get attribute i have to pass role here then i will get the string uh, admin okay so basically it will return the object then i can type cast to string then i can get the admin okay so Another method is there uh, get attribute names. Okay, so once you call this method, what it will do is uh, it will uh, return all the names uh, that is username and this role as a enumeration. Okay, so once you get this uh, all the attribute names uh, in the session scope, uh, you can iterate and pass it to this uh, get attribute uh, method to get the corresponding value. Okay. And suppose uh, if you want to remove the attribute from the session scope, then uh, we can uh, call uh, remove attribute method in the session object. Okay, so it will remove uh, the particular uh, attribute from the session scope. Okay, uh, I will uh, show you the sample code. I will open Eclipse and I will explain. Okay, uh, to explain how to set uh, attribute in the HTTP session scope, uh, I have created the project called uh, HTTP session attribute demo. So in that project uh, in web.xml, I have configured uh, two servlets. Uh, the first servlet is uh, first servlet and the second uh, servlet is second servlet. Okay. And URL pattern for uh, first servlet is servlet 1 and uh, URL pattern for uh, second servlet is uh, servlet 2. Okay. Uh, first, we will see what is there in the first servlet. Uh, the first servlet uh, extends HTTP servlet and it has uh, three methods. Uh, the first method is init. Uh, this method will be called by the servlet container to initialize this uh, first servlet. And uh, second method is uh, do get method. Uh, this method will be called by the servlet container uh, to process the get request. And uh, third method is uh, destroy method. This method will be called by the servlet container uh, to remove the servlet from the service. Okay. Uh, so in uh, do get method, what I am doing is uh, I am getting the username from the request parameter and uh, setting that uh, username in the session scope by calling session dot set attribute method. And also I am uh, setting uh, uh, role in the session uh, scope by calling the session dot set attribute method. Okay. Then I am providing link to the next servlet. Okay. Uh, next, we'll see what is there in the second servlet dot Java. Uh, so the second servlet uh, extends HTTP servlet. Uh, it has init method, uh, 
this method will be called by the servlet container to initialize the servlet and it has uh, do get method uh, this method will be called by the servlet container to process the get request and it has uh, destroy method uh, to remove uh, servlet from the service uh, this method will be called by the servlet container okay and uh, do get method what i am doing is uh, i am getting the session object uh, by calling request dot uh, get session method uh, then uh, session dot uh, get attribute i am passing the name okay so name is nothing but a username uh, so this username i have set it in the first servlet so you can see here okay so what i am doing is i am trying to get the username in the second servlet uh, so session dot get attribute if you pass the username it will return the object i am type capsting to string so i'll get the username that username i am uh, uh, writing in the browser okay uh, then uh, next uh, uh, here what i am doing is i am getting uh, all the attribute names uh, which is in the session scope by calling session dot uh, get attribute names then i will get the uh, enumeration of uh, names then i am iterating i am getting uh, name first then uh, i am passing the name to session dot get attribute uh, method so i will get the value then I am printing uh, name value pair. Okay, so this way I can uh, get all the uh, attributes uh, which are set in the session scope. Okay. Uh, next, what I will do is I will uh, deploy the project in uh, Tomcat and I will show you the output. Okay. So first I will uh, compile this uh, project. I'm going to export as a var file and I'm placing inside the tomcat web apps folder finish I'm starting the server uh, the server has been uh, started uh, now I'm going to access the web application using this uh, URL I'm going to click on enter uh, it is displaying uh, index.html uh, content uh, index.html is nothing but a welcome page okay so i am opening in uh, eclipse uh, it has username and password and it has uh, submit button so once you click on uh, uh, the submit button uh, it sends a request to the server and action is uh, servlet one okay um, So here I will enter uh, username as ROM and password as uh, ROM and I am clicking on uh, login button. So once I click uh, the request uh, goes to the server and uh, the URL pattern is uh, servlet1. Okay. So that is what uh, we have defined as action in the index.html. Okay. So the web server receives the request. Uh, it will forward the request to the servlet container servlet container will check the url pattern uh, servlet1 is there in the web.xml or not okay so in web.xml uh, for the url pattern servlet1 we have configured first servlet so the servlet container will uh, initialize the first servlet uh, then it will call the do get method of uh, first servlet uh, in do get method what we are doing is uh, uh, we are getting the username and uh, setting that username in the uh, session scope by calling the set attribute also we are setting the uh, role as admin in the session attribute okay uh, so once uh, this uh, two values are set in the session scope uh, we are uh, just writing the link in the uh, browser okay so that is what uh, you are seeing here visit link okay so once i click uh, visit uh, the request goes to the server and the uh, url pattern is uh, uh, servlet2 uh, so the servlet container will check uh, the url pattern servlet2 is there in the web.xml or not uh, so in web.xml uh, the url pattern servlet2 is there for that we configured uh, second servlet uh, so the servlet container will initialize the second servlet uh, then it will call the do get method to process the request here uh, what we are doing is uh, uh, we are getting uh, uh, attributes uh, from the session scope and uh, uh, printing in the uh, browser okay so output uh, you are seeing here 
so these are the attributes uh, which has been set in the session scope uh, by using the set attribute uh, method in the first servlet and uh, then in the second servlet uh, we are getting that uh, attributes using uh, get attribute and get attribute names method and uh, displaying one by one okay and uh, this is about how to set the attribute in the session scope and how to get uh, attributes uh, from the session scope okay and thanks for watching bye